that's gonna be a hell of a tutorial with that noise in the background. So, to play the song, you have to do that. Hi guys, I hope you're doing fantastic today. Welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone. If you're not familiar with the format, I'm just taking part of famous songs, intros, riffs, and giving you all the tools you need to hit the tone. This is a recommendation-based format, so please go down in that comment section and let me know which song you want me to cover next, and I'll get to you real, real soon. While you're down there, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Without further ado, let's jump into today's song, which was requested by our commenter-in-chief, Pooh Ninja, and backed up by quite a few people. And this song is Numb by Gary Clark Jr. <music> Gary Clark Jr. is an incredible musician and songwriter, but he's one of these people who really don't seem to care that much about what they're using. We've seen him play this song with uh, P90, with Humbuckers, with Single Gold, which just pretty much anything. In that respect, it's kind of hard for me to see which guitar fits the bill really for that song, but I would tend to say something either Humbucker-ish or P90, something with a rather high output that is going to trigger that first to do all the crazy things that first do. In that respect, it's kind of hard for me to tell you exactly what kind of guitar you're going to need for that song. I think pretty much any will fit. That being said, the low end and just like the gnarliness of that riff tells me Humbucker or P90. Preferably in the bridge, because there's still some sort of definition to it, but not really. Anyways, this is our basic tone. <laughs> But things are just about to get interesting as we jump into our amp and pedal setup. Kind of like the last part, there are a myriad of options to reach that crazy faux sound that he has. And I'll just focus on two today. If you have the opportunity to use a cranked amplifier or fairly dirty amplifier, then just the first pedal in front of it should do the trick. If you're using a clean amp on the other hand, and I think that's what he uses, uh, the best way to get that result is to run your first pedal into an overdrive. No specific recommendations there, we're looking at a first that is gonna be maxed out anyway, and an overdrive that is probably gonna be maxed out as well. On the first side of things, we're going to be using the Hove by Earthquaker devices and put the first all the way up. And we run that into the Blues Driver BD2 by Boss and run the gain all the way up. And that will take us from there to there. There's just no way I'm justifying that amount of noise, so it's just satisfying. It feels really good. Uh, but onto that, let's jump onto the last section of that video, which is how to play the song. Before we get going, please keep in mind that this song is in drop D, so you take your E standard tuned guitar and you drop the low E down to D. As usual, for those of you who don't feel like learning the song off the screen, I'll make the tabs available through a link in the description down below. Now that being said, let's get started with our fretting hand. <laughs> So it's fairly easy. Uh, we're just talking about single notes with a hammer on on the last one. And really just the thickness of it all comes from the amount of gain that you apply to it. That being said, let's have a look at our picking hand. Just 
Just as we saw in the Rival Sons episode, if you haven't seen it, it's probably linked somewhere around here. With that amount of gain, my advice to you is try not to be too rock and roll at first and just focus on hitting just the right string because as I said, the thickness comes from the gain, really. So be as accurate as you can while hitting the string to retain some sort of no definition. And with that in mind, that's it. I think you guys have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Numb by Gary Clark Jr. As usual, I hope you guys had fun learning the song. This is a recommendation-based format, so again, whatever song you want me to cover, just put it down there in the comment section and I'll get to you as soon as I possibly can. While you're down there, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. But in the meantime, I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit the Tone.